there guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. Here I am back with a charity shop haul as promised and it'll be a size 14 try on. So those of you with a, a, queen, a queen eye, I was going to say, those of you with a keen eye will notice that something's changed, my curly hair. Don't worry, it will be, um, normal service will be resumed. This is my hair when I have spent probably an hour blow drying it and every now and then I think I want big whooshy curls because I don't want my little corkscrewy curls anymore and then I dry it like this I absolutely hate it so you don't need to leave me um comments below saying that you prefer my hair straight uh, sorry you prefer my hair curly so do I and I don't know why I do it but I think it's just one of these things I think I'll dry my hair and it'll be silky soft and I'll I'll look like a herbal essence advert and it never is <laughs> and it just looks like this and I just think why didn't I just dry it curly <laughs> so um I'm in work tomorrow and the day after and then on Wednesday so it's just going to be worn up for two days and it is probably a bit easier to be straight to get it up if you know who were <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so last week I promised you I was here with my what I got for my birthday and I promised you a charity shop haul within a couple of days well that didn't happen did it because we had my daughter off because she got tonsillitis. Um, the day that I was going to film, we had the painters and decorators, well, the painters, um, were decorating our house outside. So I thought, well, I can't be doing a try on, can I, with a guy with a roller like that staring through the window. <laughs> so that went out, the, out of the window. And then it was just working Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then today. So it's just been like a bit of a whirlwind of trying to get some stuff done. So yeah, so charity shop haul, it's only little. And this is the haul. When we went shopping for my birthday, I went into a few what I call normal shops and just didn't really... Not that I didn't see anything I liked, I just wasn't prepared to pay the money and was just thinking, nope. So went into a few charity shops and got a few bargs. So, and I did say that there was a pair of trousers in here that would divide the nation. And they will, I swear. Because <laughs> they've divided our family. So the first thing I'm going to show is, this is actually sort of like a dress, but I'll show you this in more detail when I actually do the try on. Um, so I'll talk about that then. And then I got two t-shirts which are Zara. And they're the Zara Basic range. And I think they are size medium. And they're a little sort of cropped, I know, cropped t-shirt with a folded up sleeve. So there's that one in um, mustard. And then I got exactly the same one. So obviously somebody had got rid of both of them. They were both next to each other on the rack. Exactly the same one in white. Now I thought that this would be really good just for wearing under stuff because who doesn't love a basic white t-shirt? They're really boxy. So um, they're not mega cropped. I think I've got such an issue with my belly. And I try and hide it as much as I can and I do think you know I am 44 and I am probably way beyond the age of a crop top but it isn't cropped it's just it's on my waist so and I'm thinking with a with a scare with a pair of skinny high jeans um there it would it might look all right it actually looks really nice the lemon the lemon mustard I can't remember out today I have not had enough coffee I woke up this morning at quarter to four. This is my day off. Work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Working Monday, Tuesday. Day off Sunday. All set for a lion. Quarter to four, bloody wide awake. And there was a bird singing outside the window, which I know you shouldn't moan about, and we're very lucky, but oh my God, I was like, shut up! 
So I got up, I polished, I washed the kitchen floor, I watched last week's A Big Little Lies, you know, the new series, and then I watched two episodes of a programme called Bodies, which is really old. And it's by, I think, the same person who wrote Line of Duty. I might have got that completely wrong. Uh, but it's it's all set on a maternity ward. It's all set in Nobs and Gyne, So I love it. My husband watched the first one and was like, I may as well just be watching Holby City. I have not got a clue what they're talking about. So I found it far more interesting than him, I think. So he hasn't wanted to watch anymore. So I binged a couple of them this morning. And then I was like sitting waiting for everybody to get up because it was like 10 past seven. <laughs> so um, it's just been a bit of a weird day. And then we've watched a movie this afternoon and my eyes were going and I thought, no, I need to get up, get showered and do, do something with myself and get these blooming videos uploaded. So here I am. Um, my makeup, by the way, I don't know whether it probably doesn't even look any different to you, but I have been using the Trini London makeup i had some last week that i bought and i have done a putting it all on my face and a first review so i will that video is recorded needs editing and then it'll be uploaded so once it's uploaded i will link it in the description box and you can go and check that out and see what i think of that but i do love it and it's given me a bit of a glow and i love that i've got a little bit of a glow because when you get to my age, you don't have much of your, your own natural glow. So, you, you know, you've got to get your glow where you can. So, love it. So these t-shirts were £3.45 each. And yeah, so I was saying that, I mean, I do really like this colour. I think that's quite a good colour on you when you're blonde. Um, the lighting's terrible. It's such a dull day outside. I've done the video for the makeup in the bathroom. And the sun was like streaming through, was blinding me, and I've had to move. And now it looks like it's going to absolutely pelt down. So um, it's really dull. So I do apologise if the lighting keeps going a bit funny. So they, like I say, I'm thinking jeans. I'm thinking my new trousers, denim shorts. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about. I get a bit of a thing about shorts, and I get like chub rub in between my legs and I don't know is, is there a certain age where you get to wish you not wear shorts anymore I don't know <sighs> answers on a postcard so anyway there was those oh and one thing I did buy which was not um not for not clothes was this candle which is it's called mahogany it basically smells like pomegranate noir now if you want if you watched my birthday haul last week, you will know that I received a candle that smelled like pomegranate noir that I hurled across the bedroom when I was showing it you. Um, so this doesn't fall out. This a candle was £2 and looking on the internet, I think it was a H&M one. And, and I think it's supposed to have like a cork lid, but um, it hasn't, but it's black glass. So I just think, I mean, it's the payoff for the smell might be rubbish but it might be really nice who knows so next I bought a top because you can never have enough striker tops and it's this top and it's got little gold stars all over it it is by white stuff it's a size 12 and it was 4 95 which isn't cheap but it's white stuff and it's really well made and I love the stars on it are like goldy, like, sh not shiny, but you know what I mean. Um, and I just think that in the summer with white jeans, just, I'm there, I'm there. So um, I'll try you that on. Oh, I don't think my white knickers are clean. I might have to try my white jeans on with my bloody black knickers on. <laughs> um, and then I bought this dress, which is stripes. And again, like I say, you can never have too many stripes. This was £7. And it's basically like a vest top. And then it's floor length. And it's got slits. sort of, And the slits kind of go up to the edge of your knee. And it's just really nice. It's lovely, lovely material. It's by a company called Kettlewell. 
which I've never heard of and it's a size LL which I don't even know what that even means no no idea um so I can't wait to show you that and if you remember the last charity shop haul that I did and I bought some sandals to hide my monkey mall on matches perfectly so I'm getting I'm getting my, my capsule wardrobe for the summer and then I bought this which is a gilet now it's quite unusual to see um wintry things in the shops at this time of year but it was so and i think that that is just lovely and it is by a company called hartford it's a size three whatever that means and it was eight pound and when i googled this company and it's, it does feel absolutely brand new and it's got like hook and eyes hooks and eyes hook hook and eye hooks whatever them at the front and um when i googled the company they sell them in john lewis and they're still in john lewis and they're 95 pound so i'm thinking i mean it probably will go away until autumn but i'm thinking dark jeans knee high boots long sleeve top eight pound so made up with that and then <laughs> These are the trousers that will divide you all. <laughs> They're by a company called Zup. Z-U-P-P-E. The top that I was wearing last week, the blue one with the um, asymmetrical top, that's Zup as well. I don't think they're particularly expensive, um, but they do wild trousers. And I bought a pair of Palazzo pants. And they're that pattern. Look at them. <gasps> and they're super, super duper wide at the bottom. And I love them. I just love them. So, they were £4. When I saw them in the shop, well, I'll show you when I try them on, but when I saw them in the shop, they were turned up like... A har harem 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 pant, and that's how I ha that's how I tried them on, and I thought, oh, they they're really nice. And then I was messing about, and the knot that had been tied came out, and I thought, oh no, I don't think they're supposed to be. I think that knot's probably been put in, either by the person who donated them or the person who tried them on before me. So when I actually put them on properly, I was like, oh my god, I actually think. I love them and I bought them home <laughs> and I tried them on with the mustard t-shirt because I think sometimes wearing something like this with white it makes it too bold whereas wearing it with so wearing it with that top and I'll show you wearing it with that top I just it makes this stand out too much but when you put that with that, it it doesn't make this seem as bold because that's quite bold as well, if you understand what I mean. But like I say, I will show it you. Um, and I tried it on and I had them on with the mustard t-shirt. My daughter walked in the bedroom and she just went, whoa, has dad seen you? <laughs> I said, no, I don't know what he's gonna say. And he walked in the bedroom and he was like, oh, they look really nice. Because I thought he'd go, what the actual bleep are you wearing? <laughs> but he didn't. He was quite complimentary, really. So, and then there was this dress, which I'll show you when I when I stand up. And this was £8, I think. And I love it. So I'll show it you. So without further ado, which I know I say a lot in my videos, without further ado, um, I will do the size 14 try on. So I'll see you in a minute. So this is the dress. So I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like a bit of a belt, but it stops there and there. And then it's got that tie thing there. I pulled it tight. I've tried to wrap it round and it just does I don't know what it's supposed to do but I actually don't mind it 
just sort of as it is. It's got pockets and I'll show you. So I've just put it on. I've got black, they're like a, I don't know, they're, they're from a charity shop but they're Bowden, um, like a cropped ankle grazer or whatever they're called. And I've shoved it on over the top of them and just got my Converse on. But it's just really, really nice, really floaty. It's quite see-through. But I think it's it's navy and silver, like navy and silver almost, the line that goes through it. And I just thought it was really nice. And I thought that it would be one of those things that you could shove on if you were going out in an evening maybe. And you could even put it on... Um, I mean, I think you could probably just wear it with, like, if you've got, like, a black petticoat or something, like, do you know, understand what I mean? Like, a bodysuit or something underneath it. If you're brave enough, then you could wear it. It's, it is, I think it's quite see-through. Um, but I had a bag, bear with. So, like, if you were going out and it was night time this is a bag that i've had for ages and it's one of those that looks like a rolled up magazine and it's just a little clutch bag um but i think it's really cool and it's because it's got navy because it's got the blue on it and it's got the black i just think that if you were sort of going out then that would probably look quite cool of a you know of an evening if you were just going out to for a few drinks or whatever I just think that would be quite nice but if you were going like shopping or out for lunch then I think just a plain black bag would probably look quite nice with it so and I've just got on my black wooden jewellery that I had from the charity shop which was from Next and because I've got black trousers on and I think because that is black even though the dress is navy because that's black I think you can get away with it Black and navy together, is a, it's, it's a bit of a tricky combination and I think you've got to get it right. But I think that looks, I think that looks really nice. So I was really pleased with that. Um, oh shit. <laughs> she says breaking her neck as my mother predicted I would. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly get changed. I'm going to put the blue stripy, the other blue stripy dress on now. So we'll see you in a minute. This is the stripy dress in all its glory. Um, I really like it. I love it's got nice chunky straps. It's not too big around the side. The stripes are a, a nice width. It does, it's not really tight. So it's sort of, yes, I've got a belly. Yes, I've got a bum. But if I stand on here, it just, and then it's got the slits up the side. It just sort of, it doesn't cling anywhere. It's really nice. So the fact that LL, whatever size that may be, it for me is absolutely perfect. So I just think that looks really nice. Again, just with Converse, it's just one of those things that is just really easy to wear. It would be great if we were down in Cornwall and we were going shopping walking, sightseeing, if you were abroad it would be a really good sort of coverall, you could pop it over your swimsuit, I just think it would be, it's a really really easy to wear dress and then I was thinking if you were abroad and maybe you needed to cover up, I've just got a little linen jacket here which I had from a charity shop a couple of, well I think it was last year, but it's a sea salt one and it's just a little, it's almost like a little fitted blazer really. And it's just got two pockets, three quarter length sleeves. But I was thinking if you've got, because you've got to go the whole hog haven't you, sunglasses and all, and just a little sort of beachy bag type thing. And then if you were just wandering around sightseeing looking like that, I think, I just think you'd look super chic, super cool. You don't look like you've had to make any effort really. It's just a really, really easy to wear dress and I I think even I'm gonna try and these are those bloody infamous beads that I broke last week <laughs> on my video this is the Zara t-shirt so I'll just show you this as well nice big neck on it so you don't wipe all your makeup off um, and again let's get a bag 
So that just looks, I just feel that it looks really cool and just quite effortless and quite chic and do you know what I mean? I just, I'm, I do really, I really like that and I don't mind if it's cropped actually. I don't feel, because you know what I'm like for a chunky belt around my middle and I think a lot of the reason I do that is because I am so conscious of this. But I think actually sometimes by doing that, I shorten the length of my legs. Do you understand what I mean? Because people think that my legs are starting where the belt is down here. They almost think that that's your waist and so you've got these little short legs. And actually I have got quite long legs and I think in something like this, my legs look a lot longer because I'm wearing sort of a, a more cropped top. So I think that gets a big thumbs up from me. I think that's, um, I really like that and I think I'll get loads of wear out of that, especially with my Converse. I'm telling you now girls and guys, get yourselves a pair of Converse or a pair of white, chunky, trainers because if I was wearing sandals with this like sparkly sandals or something it would be too dressy but I just think too dressy and probably almost a little bit mumsy but I think because you've got the the trainers it almost gives it a bit of a youthful edge so I think it and it just cash cashes down outfits that would otherwise look quite dressy and I think if you can put a pair of funky shoes on with them, funky trainers, not trainers but like something white at the bottom, it just gives it that, it lifts the whole outfit and it makes it look like you're actually quite cool and quite hip and quite fun, you know, <laughs> like we all are. So, and the good thing about this, I suppose, is it just covers that little bit of the tops of our arms where we're all perhaps not as confident as we should be with our bingo wings. So it just, rather than sort of being completely on show. So, so that's that outfit. And I suppose you could even, you, well, I might look a bit like, <laughs> I'm about to go out on the lifeboat if I wear this. You could even do that top with it as well. If you were to put your necklace over there like that you could probably even get away with with the yellow I think that's maybe a bit too I don't know Cornwall <laughs> um, so yeah so I'm going to try on the trousers of dreams now and um, I want to see what you think and I want your honest opinions in the comments um, but you know I wear them anyway so I don't care but like we'll see we'll see <laughs> are you ready do do, do, do. Look at them again, good old Converse. They go with everything. So, these are the trousers, they haven't got any pockets, but I don't mind. They're very thin, very floaty. When I first got them, when I took them off, there were sparks, they were like. <laughs> proper static so the first time I wore them I had to put I had to talc my legs which is a good tip uh, that I had to look up on the internet I thought well, how do you de-statis de 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 it's static how do you de-statify something I don't even know if that's the right word and it said talc yourself up so I did <laughs> um, and they didn't and they weren't static so and I've put it with the t-shirt, so they're quite high-waisted, they're elasticated at the back, there's no um, buttons and things on them. I have tried it with a little vest underneath and I think it looks worse. I think if I was to get some false tan around my midriff, I think it would probably look better than like a flesh coloured vest top which is what I put underneath it and because they're not black it's it's very dark brown so you've got to be very careful and I almost think that it's nicer if you if you reach up it's almost nicer to see a bit of flesh than to see a funny coloured vest so like I say I'm not a hundred percent confident and 
you know, I won't be doing the YMCA in this because I don't like showing my midriff off, but I actually think that any other top with these trousers would detract from, I don't know, the outfit just wouldn't work if I was wearing something longer or it, I think it does need to be short and I think because this colour's quite punchy as well, it doesn't look like such a mental outfit because it all sort of works and it sort of goes together and I think because I've got the converse on you can almost it's casual enough I think if I was wearing like sparkly high shoes it would just look ridiculous but I think that looks they look quite cool with it and then I was thinking I've tried my denim jacket on and it just doesn't work my denim jacket is a dark denim I think a light denim may work so it would probably have to be an outfit that you wore on a day where you didn't need a coat I think it would be a shame to put a coat on this outfit so I think if you were just milling around town like that and you know what I think what I've got to get away from whenever I look in a mirror I instantly look at my tummy my little cake pouch and you know I just we've got to get over it haven't we because I'm more than that um, and yes I'd like it to be flatter but I bloody love cake as well so but I think this is this has taken me completely out of my comfort zone but I actually really like it and I think through the summer I've got a mirror there I do think through the summer that that is an outfit that I just think I love wearing and I actually love the orange and the mustard together the orange of this bag this is just a Radley bag it's from the Radley shop at the but it was the outlet shop and it was about eight pound I think um, I've probably got that completely wrong it might have been more than that I don't think it was though not too much more eight eight or twelve pounds something like that and they had loads of different ones and I liked it because it's got um, an inner pocket can you see that there not really yeah an inner pocket so um, that you, you can put your phone or your keys in it or something because a lot of these sort of canvassy bags everything just drops to the bottom doesn't it so I really liked that about it and it's the one I you know I used it loads last summer and then my necklace because if you're going to wear this outfit and you're saying world I'm here don't be conservative with your jewellery either wear something punchy wear something wacky and this is my little woman um she did have a name and I can't remember it it was Mrs somebody and look she's got a little star and I think it says believe oh no it says forever so she's just look at her so she's out with me for the day and you know I, I just I love it I think it's I think it's cool I think it's quite elegant I think it's a bit trendy I'm gonna have to get rid of that there's a right the god Zara have the longest labels don't they it's like up under my armpit uh, <laughs> so yeah so that's I, just let me know what you think of the trousers. Can I get away with them? I'm 40 bloody four. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, I absolutely love that outfit. I really do love it. So I will try you on the stripy top now, which is going to feel very, very conservative. And the gilet, I might just pop that on top of the gilet. It might not work there, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And that's the white, white stuff top. It's really, really pretty with all the stars on it in sort of like a rose gold actually. So it doesn't, it wouldn't matter what colour jewellery. And I've got like a pewtery coloured belt. My white chinos, which were from a charity shop a couple of years ago, last year, year before. Um, that I don't love, but they're okay. Um, and I've got grey knickers on. I'm sorry, I've got grey knickers on. But again, this is a Jules blazer that I had from a charity shop a couple of years ago. But just if you're feeling, if it's, you know, if you're going out for lunch with the girls or you're going out into town shopping and you just want to be a little bit more put together, then nothing puts you together like a blazer. And you still, I mean, you could wear, oh, 
Where's my glasses? Ooh. Oh, I've got to that age. I've got to that age where I can't bend down and get back up without making a funny noise. So I kind of go, Ooh. Ooh. when I come back up again. Um, so even that would look quite cool just with a, a big bag on. But I just, I love that and I love that we've got a little bit of colour there as well. I mean you could even, I don't have any, but you could even do like mustardy wooden beads or something with that. Um, I do have though a mustard coloured bag, hang on. I do have that bag. So um, you could always do something like that as well which would just look quite nice and I think again with the converse and if you are a little bit conscious of your stomach what better way to hide it than a, than a bag so if you get a, this needs shortening a bit, if you get a bag that sort of sits there and it just adds a little bit of something extra to your outfit and, and again it just hides that so that you're not quite so conscious of it um, so yeah, so that's that. And then what I'll do is I'll just try the gilet on over this. Because it's not really going to... It isn't something I'm going to wear this season. And it doesn't really go with this. But I just wanted to show you sort of what it... So there you go. So that's there. And that looks... I think that looks lovely. I think that's really, really nice. And there's pockets. So I just think that looks amazing, really, really cool, trendy, it'll be dead nice in the winter. And I even think, you know, if you were going out on an evening now, you could probably wear fur, I don't know, if you, can you wear fur in June? Probably not. But yeah, I just think that's ace. So that is the end of this charity shop haul and mammoth try on. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you really, really soon in my next video. I have no idea what that video will be about. Like I say, I will link the makeup tutorial. It's not a tutorial, by the way, because I'm shit at putting makeup on. But it's a, a come try makeup with me. And I'll, um, I'll get that edited and then I'll get that uploaded as well. So yeah, so thank you so much. It's been good to hang out with you again. I've missed you lots. Um, and I'll enjoy reading all your comments and see what you think of all those, um, those outfits, especially the trousers. And I'll see you really soon in my next video. So thanks for watching. Take lots of care. Bye.